Hello, thank you all for coming here, I guess. And uh, this, since this is such a rare opportunity to have so many ends from start to finish of the uh, design process for Animated all at the same table at once, I figured I may as well be on brand and ask a question about the design and uh, character creation process for one of my favorites from Animated, uh, Lugnut. Like from the, sadly Derek's not here, but I mean just from the writing, toy design, voice perspective, everybody who was involved in creating that character, Derek aside, is at this table right now. Yeah. Well, from from the writing perspective, Lugnut was another character that was handed to me as this is part of the, the Decepticon team. Um, they didn't really have much of a personality for him, and what they did, as I recall, was kind of similar to, to Bulkhead. It felt a little repetitious, so... You know how? What's the version of the big, the villainous version of of, of the big dumb guy um, that still makes him a threat? And so, uh, you know, I was playing with the idea of, of the uh, Megatron as this sort of fanatical um, figure uh, among the Decepticons. Um, and so, of course, it, it seemed like, well, let's have one character who embodies the fanatic more than any of them. So, uh, Lugnut felt like that would work really well. Um, and I think it was Matt and Derek who came up with, with the idea of his, of his power, of that, that, that punch that would create a crater and he'd still be standing in the, in the that, middle What was of it called? The punch of kill everything? Yeah, well, as a fan, <laughs> a, a fan came up with that one and decided to use it. I like the, like the sound of it. Yeah, um, and, and from a product side, you know, that, that's a character I wish we could have done in the leader class too. I, I tried to pitch that one as well. Yeah, see, he needed to be bigger than all the other guys. But um, so we we pigeonholed him in the uh, in the, the biggest that my bosses would let me get was, was the Voyager scale. And given the size of that plane and the package he had to fit him in, you know, when you get him in robot mode, he's, he was tiny. So that was a little unfortunate. Looks a little weird on the shelf. Yeah, <laughs> next to him. But uh, but yeah, like similar to what, what Marty was talking about, you know, you needed kind of the antithesis to what Lugna or uh, what Bulkhead was. So Lugnut became kind of that from our standpoint and in, in the product side as well. It's like you know, he, so we try to figure out ways to get him as bulky as possible. And I was working with Derek on the design. Um, and it's always, always, always super hard to make an airplane character turn into something kind of bulky in robot mode because you're, yeah, it's all, it's all so sleek and stuff like that. So, I don't know, there was a little bit of back and forth, but ultimately, like, Derek had this vision for what he could look like. And I, I kept on trying to, you know, push and pull from my side and working with Takara on things and just trying to see what they can do. And, you know, I, there's a lot of back and forth discussions, overlay drawings, and, you know, a few heated emails here and there. <laughs> just to be like, no, it's got to be like this. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, we, we got them to work out eventually. And, you know, uh, even though we never got to do them at a larger scale, we were kind of happy with what we were able to do. Yeah, he looks great. And, and then um, from, the, from the voice perspective, we, one of the things we had to do, because we didn't have a huge voice actor budget, so we wanted to make sure that everybody we cast was versatile and could every um, most every Autobot should have also a Decepticon they could do. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if we did it at, um, at callbacks or maybe even at, right at the, the first record session, but we said, David, what do you got for this guy? And we handed him a design. Yeah, it was just uh, that uh, you know, he's just, just dumb, just want to be dumb. Kill the kill the punch every, what is it? Kill punch him, kill, punch him, kill everything. Megatron is wise. You know, I just sort of, he is very good too. He's just, he was just dumb, you know, not a lot going on. He was just the muscle and it wasn't, it was just, you know, playing against uh, Bill Fagerback. It was kind of fun, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was basically how it came, sort of came up, I think, as far as I know. 